ask your question. God, why haven't you made your existence and goodness unambiguously evident? Is being the creator unambiguous? How old is the universe? Age of the universe. I am timeless. Your universe has only existed for a small time. Why would you create something fully knowing the creature will undoubtedly suffer? I suffer with you. It is hard, I know. But without suffering, there is no growth, without challenges. There is no growth. Why? darkness, the light would have no importance without suffering, pleasure would be meaningless. All life passes. spirit within it is never diminished. Become strong in your suffering for it gives you wisdom and understanding. Be long-suffering and short to temper as I am long-suffering. The wickedness I have witnessed within this world. What is your function, purpose of your existence? If it is for God's amusement, am I wrong to be angry? Oh, ye fools. Who are you, the clay, to tell the potter what to make of you? Life has many facets. If I made you all the same, it would be very dull, would it not? All is from me, by me, for me. And it amuses me to see your folly. Repent of your anger, for it is misplaced. You should be grateful for the pleasures in life. I have laid before you in abundance, yet you Waste it with your desires contrary to nature. God, where is the love of my life? How do I find her and make her mine? I place within your life those you need. Love the one you're with. 
give love to all around you. And when that right person comes, if I have made one for you, you will know it. Be patient and think first of giving joy to others and the joy you seek will return to you. What do I have to endure to reach perfect happiness? Nothing. Nothing at all. You already endure life. You already endure what is. Happiness comes from within. Perhaps you should get rid of the baggage and stop obsessing upon those things which do not bring you happiness. Be content in who you are. And if you are not, remove that which causes this discontentment. There is nothing I want from you. You cannot give me anything. I already have it all. Be at peace. And learn to be who you are. And be happy with that. Is there intelligent life? places other than the planet Earth, and if so, what do they think or feel about God? I am life. Wherever I go, there is life. There is life all around, and all over, in many places. For I have flocks in many folds. I have sons and daughters in many places beyond earth. Some you have met, some who have done you wrong and will pay, and some who have helped you. For me, they do these things. Your answer is yes. And what do they think of me? mixed as it is here on your earth. For many of them did need me to come and send my son to them as well. Are you so arrogant to think that would make such a universe just for one planet. I am great God. And all are special. And I know all by name. Lord, how do I explain to a parent why their baby died? Explain to them about why mine died. Give them hope, for death is not the end. Suffering of this world is short, but the joy of paradise is eternal. Grieve not for those who have gone before. 
grieve for those who remain without them, for it is in their heart that the pain resides. The child no longer has pain. Have you read the Bible? And if so, how many stars out of five would you give it? Ratings. Ratings. Which version of the Bible? I know them all. Man shall pay dearly for the words they have taken and used wrong in my name. I have sent you many to protect my word, and many have done well doing so at the cost of their lives. My word still stands strong, despite the errors of men. Is there an afterlife? If there is, can I opt out? You already have. There is an afterlife. Repent, or you will have the second death, and there you cannot call that life. Dear God, why do you exist? What's your purpose? I am the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. Nothing exists save by me. O oh, thou fool, seek instead thy own purpose. Why do you allow less than helpful things happen to good people? Less than helpful? I would not say that. I allow bad things to happen to good people. Not because I am bad, nor they are bad. I am trying you in a fire. I am making you pure. Be purified. Fear not the trials. Is your faith strong enough to get you through them? I am there with you through them. How low? Will the human population need to fall, and how fast, to reach a level which is sustainable? What level of technology will society retain afterwards? Repent, ye sinner. For I commanded that ye be fruitful and multiply, yet ye seek to destroy that which I created. There is no overpopulation, only mismanagement of resources I have given. Question those who control those resources, for they are the source of this evil. Mammon. What does it indicate, dear God, when you have no questions, because life appears to make perfect sense to me? It means you're asleep. Wake up. If you make sense of it. But what sense is there in the workings of my enemy? I did create him that way, to be senseless, as I am sense. And you exist within a world he 
manipulates and controls. It's you make sense of it all. Question your own belief here. Why do you allow terrible things to happen to me when I try so hard? Life is hard and it is made that way. I want you to be an overcomer. I am there with you. You can lean upon me on those hard times. But I will not spoil you. For I want overcomers. Dear child, I have placed many, such as yourself, in hardships. Great and terrible hardships. You are a great vessel, and great things shall come of this. All of the sorrows and pains you feel, I know, I know them. I see your struggle, I see you try so hard. Do not lose heart, dear one. For great things shall come of this. Great things untold. Numbers unbelievable. Great is the mystery. And you have a great part in this. Be strong, be courageous, I know it hurts, all will be answered in time, and someday you shall be with me where no pain comes, and sorrow is never seen. What the hell are you thinking? What are you thinking? Are you daring to judge the Lord Creator, the giver of your life? Did I not give you all you needed? Have you not abused it? And you judge me? Do you not know? I am the one who sets upon judgment seat. Repent. If you could have your portrait painted by any painter in history, to whom would you give the commission? None. For thou shalt make no images of things which are on heaven or on earth, and thou shalt not bow down to such images, for it is an abomination. I am spirit. Spirit has no form that can be portrayed in icon. Blasphemy is such an icon. Is Sufism compatible with Christianity? If so, how? No. Who will you follow? Will you follow a guru? Or will you follow the Lord, your God? What are mosquitoes good for? Do you like dragonflies? Do you like frogs? They got to eat something. That and many of my scourges come upon plagues carried by these small things. For through their smallness, they demonstrate the great thing. That no matter how great men think they are, they can be brought low by the smallest of my creation. Be you humble then. 
Which of those things I regret were truly my fault? When was I the victim of something someone else should regret? You are all victims of something someone else does regret. For on that day in the garden, when that mother that bore all of you did disobey, and then her flesh of her flesh did also disobey, for that all of mankind has suffered. It is my regret. Are you separate from us, part of us, or something else? If so, what? In other words, are you transcendent or imminent? Both transcendent and imminent. I am in all places, yet in no place. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. All things are held together by me. Without me, there is nothing. How or why are we not worthy talking, worth talking to in some respectful way? Child, child, I do speak respectfully to those who see me and know me. You have never respected me. How should I repay such? Should I play nice and come to you and say, Hey, I'm sorry I gave you life. I do not regret giving you life, nor am I sorry for it. You wish to hear me. Repent and come to me. The door is open. Oh, we have scientists, those who think they're scientists, wanting answers too. Please explain the physical laws of the universe. For example, what is dark matter? There is no dark matter. There is no black hole. There was no Big Bang. It is all electric, you see. It's all energy, positive and negative, and flow. Circuits joining. Circuits disconnecting. All in a brilliant show. Magnificent, is it not? I am the fabric of space and time. I am that which is. I am the law of physics. You have only pierced a small fraction of what I am with your science. You will never see me with your science, for I will not sit under a test tube, nor am I measurable, for I am infinite. I am not ma matter that can be examined, but I hold all matter together. You are only beginning to realize this with your science. They will never see me in that way. I am spirit, and I am to be worshipped in spirit. 